Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Closet Confections. I'm your host, Kendra, and today I look like a hot mess. <laughs> but literally, I have just rolled out of bed and I thought, why not do a get ready with me video? So, of course, I've been playing this video for ages and the day that I decide to film, I'm getting over a major cold. So, excuse me if I sound nasal and if I have like extra bags under my eyes, but that will just make the transformation that much more impactful, right? <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get into my basic everyday routine well it's a little bit extra because i washed my hair the other night and i just let it air dry i basically put it into two twists and kind of try to lay my edges down somewhat um, but that's it and the only other thing i've done this morning is brush my teeth because i just could not get on youtube without brushing my teeth <laughs> but if you're interested i have a very detailed dental hygiene regimen so i will link that video down below it's actually a multi-step process and i use some uh products that you may not be familiar with so it's actually a pretty it's actually one of my most popular videos for some reason um so maybe i should do an updated dental hygiene video but anyway i'm not going to do that today because i already did it but you can see that video down below so for starters, um, the first thing you'll notice is this pimple cream that I have so right I now. Of course, I recently did a video where I talked about how my skin has just been glowing, has been on fleek ever since I got pregnant with my son Christian. And of course, even though I knocked on wood, um, I got a big pimple. <laughs> but I do, um, when it's that time of the month, like I get like a little tiny pimple here or here. So that's normal for me. So what I like to do is to just slather that overnight with my Trigina on the spot acne treatment. So this is what I've been using since college. This just works for me. I've tried fancier vanishing creams like uh, that Mario Badescu, um, what do they call it, drying lotion. I've tried that and that just, I don't know, it did not agree with my skin at all. But this gets the job done. Also too, I find that when I get pimples, sometimes I get that um, hyperpigmentation and this sort of brightens that up and takes that away. So always a big fan of that product. And I think I also did a nighttime skincare routine. So I will link that below for you guys as well. So today I'm just gonna hop into, this is my everyday routine. This is what I do. I'm a work from home mom, um, but I do try to get out of the house every single day. Today I'm taking Christian to his class. Um, I might run a few errands. So nothing fancy, nothing fancy schmancy <laughs> to go to. Um, the only extra step is I have to do my hair. Usually that takes me like two minutes in the morning, but because I just washed it recently, um, it's gonna take me a little bit longer. So I will show you what I do as a busy mom to a toddler. <laughs> who likes to look semi-presentable. No, I like to look good <laughs> when I go out. So I feel like I've done a lot of talking. Let's just get into it. All right. All right, so step one, I wash my face pretty much every morning with my Clarisonic. This is the Mia. It's actually on like its last leg. It doesn't quite get a full charge, but I get 45 seconds rather than the full minute. And that's enough for me. And I cleanse with basically just a bar of African black soap. I think this is a Shea Moisture's African black soap. And that's what I use to cleanse my face. So. Okay, I've just washed my face and kind of just towel dried it. I wanted to give you guys a tip. If you use a Clarisonic, um, or any sort of like face washer like this. I like to remove this brush after each use and just let it air out because I opened it up one day like years ago and I realized it gets kind of gunky in here and that kind of grossed me out. So I always take this off and let it just air dry after every use. So just a little pro tip there. Um, in terms of cleansers, I would say about 90, 85, 90% of the time I use the African black soap. I try not to use sulfates on my skin. Um, I use saponified oils. So I use like maybe Dr. Bronner's Castile soap, things like that that aren't so drying. I have oily skin, but um, 
it does get stripped very easily like if I try to get too abrasive with like sulfates or things that like clarify or formulate it for oily skin sometimes they're too drying for me um, over time if I keep using them so I usually stick to things that are for sensitive skin also too it's winter time so my skin will really really get dry so I find easy. that the African black soap is like I've been using that pretty much I think all of 2019 that's all I used on my face um, except for maybe the few times I would experiment like might get some products and kind of pamper myself um, but yeah that's that's pretty much all that I use all right so I've washed my face I've toned it and then the next step is I use this glow therapy chamomile facial mist and basically the ingredients are water glycerin um, flower distill chamomile flower extract so this is just a hydrating facial mist I feel like it just kind of wakes up my skin especially today like I said I'm a little bit congested because I'm getting over a cold so I just go on like this and do a light gentle mist All right, so for moisturizer I tend to just use a little bit of organic coconut oil but because it's winter I like to add a little bit um, something on top of that so what I do is I will take a little bit of the organic coconut oil and then I mix it with this Shea Moisture African Black Soap Bamboo Charcoal Hydrating Jelly Moisturizer with aloe my husband actually got this for me as a stocking stuffer and I used it on vacation um, over the Christmas break and I loved it so I don't know <laughs> what made him get that for me we'll probably be seeing my African black soap that I use um, every day but yeah I was surprised I really like it so like I mentioned before I tend to have oily skin and this moisturizer it <sighs> I don't know for some reason it kind of like balances that out it gives you like a nice glow but it doesn't make your face feel greasy and I say that but I'm also going to take my finger and dip it into my coconut oil <laughs> and just kind of mix those two together and I find that this combination just really works with my skin um I went through like that teenage acne phase like almost all of us do and then I got that at Bay in college and I started using uh, what is it called proactive solution I used proactive solution for years like from college until I hit my 30s and when I hit my 30s for like almost an entire year my skin just freaked the f out like I don't know what happened um, but for like an entire year maybe like a year and a half I really had to figure out how to get my skin back under control. Um, it took me like a year and a half once I hit my 30s to figure out like what my skin needed. So like I said, my skin tends to be oily, especially in this T-zone area. But at the same time, on my cheeks, I get like rosacea. Like I didn't know black people got rosacea, but um, especially in the winter, like it gets chapped right here. So I found that coconut oil is a really great moisturizer for me, especially like in these little crevices and on my cheeks but for the rest of my face I need something that kind of like balances the oil all right so my face has been cleansed toned misted moisturized um, the next step sometimes I do this sometimes I don't I usually look at my skin at this point and I see what it looks like so right now my skin is kind of going through a little sensitive period I told you I just had my um, time of the month <laughs> so I have this pimple right here that we're kind of working on and looking at my skin right now and feeling it it feels it feels good right now it feels soft it feels moisturized um, sometimes if it feels like tight or a little bit dry I will go in I have this Glossier Future Dew it's an oil serum hybrid I think because I use the coconut oil I don't really need to use this today so I'm gonna skip this step but this is a great product I bought this a couple of months ago and I use it like I don't know I want to say like maybe four or five days a week I will put this on but today I think I'm gonna skip it 
I don't like to put too much stuff on my face and I feel like just looking at it um I kind of need to like calm it down I'm even wondering if I should put on makeup today <laughs> this is a game time decision um I think I'm gonna skip foundation today so I know a lot of people um you know if their skin isn't acting right they go in and they put on concealer and foundation and try to cover that up I do the opposite if I notice my skin is kind of red which it looks kind of to me today like I get rosacea here um I think I'm just gonna give my, my skin a rest. I'm, I'm getting over a cold. I think that I am like releasing toxins. <laughs> um, my body's just trying to like fight an infection right now. Um, I even have like a little, not to be TMI, but I had a little rash on my neck. Um, so I think I'm just gonna play it really cool and play it really easy today and not really do too much. So I think I'm gonna stop here. Yes, I'm gonna stop here with the skincare. Um, and not put on any foundation. I'm going to do my eyebrows and probably put on some mascara and lipstick, but I think that's it. So in any case, next I'm going to go in and tackle this hair. <clears throat> so like I mentioned, I washed my hair last night and truth be told, I'm like a terrible natural. Um, I usually don't tie my hair up at night. <laughs> I only tied it up because I washed it and I wanted to kind of like just kind of tame it a bit. But basically I washed my hair using... This is a new product for me, but Aveda's Sap Moss, uh, the shampoo and conditioner, Weightless Hydration. This is my first time using it. Um, a YouTuber that I love recommended it. And yeah, I really, really like it. The smell, it has like an earthy kind of grassy smell, which like, you know, it's not, it's not off-putting, but it doesn't go like, it didn't make me go like, wow, ooh, my hair smells so good. Um, but... I will say that my hair felt super soft afterwards. So I have like dry, coarse hair um, that like soaks up products. And yeah, it's really hard for me to find um, good shampoos and conditioners that don't dry my hair out. But this I liked, it's pricey. I think these were like $28 a piece, which is way more. I totally got influenced. <laughs> I totally got influenced because I normally would not pay $56 for hair products, but I get sent a lot of stuff. So I actually haven't bought hair products in a very long time. Um, so I felt like, okay, I'll splurge. Um, but yeah, I really like it. So a little bit goes a long way. I will try it. I like to get things three times um, when I use it in my hair. So I will report back later on. Uh, maybe in a couple of weeks, couple of months, let you guys know if I'm still using that. But so far, so right. So I washed my hair and just twisted it and then put it up for the night. Oh, this is another little tip um, to lay down edges. <laughs> that other scarf was just for show. But what I use is anytime I have stockings um, that get a run in them, I cut the legs off and I save these. I might do a hair tutorial. There's a way that I set my hair for like a twist out um, using these like strips of fabric. Um, it's really great for stretching the hair, but it's also really good for laying down my edges. So I'm gonna hang on to this because this will be part of the style that I use later. All right, so let's see what we're working with in terms of hair. Hey, <laughs> all right so this is my hair with no products um other than i think i put a little bit of castor oil in my hair and i'm feeling it now after it's dry and everything like i said my hair soaks up product and gets super dry so it feels pretty good my scalp feels good i like to get in there and just give myself a little scalp massage oh that always feels great um i need to dye my hair around the edges oh my god look at those gray hairs oh goodness <laughs> but at least i have edges at least i have them gray and all so okay so my hair feels like it normally feels um because i air dry my hair and it's like semi stretched but not super stretched and I'm trying to not use a lot of heat in my hair in 2020, at least for the first quarter. I'm gonna try to like use as little heat as possible or direct heat like flat irons and blow dryers and whatnot. I think that I'm gonna do a Caruso roller set. That'll be 
quick <laughs> um, and easy for me to do. And I think that will last. It'll stretch my hair a little bit more. Um, yeah, my hair is just, oh, I need to like pamper it. It needs some TLC. So <laughs> I have a video that I will link down below about my full Caruso roller set. So now I'll just give you the really condensed version. So I will be right back. All right, so I've just parted my hair into four sections in preparation for setting it with the steamrollers. Like I said, I'm not gonna get into a full in-depth tutorial because I have one that I will link for you guys. But just to show you with Caruso steamrollers, it's a bag of these rollers or sponge rollers with, I'll take one out to show you, um, sort of a plastic covering like so. All right, and then you have this reservoir that you fill with water. So you fill that reservoir with water, and then this is the heating element. So you take this, you plug it in. <laughs> you plug it in, and it heats up really quickly, and it gets really hot. Um, and basically, steam will escape through here. You plop the roller on top for like eight to ten seconds, let it steam up, and then you roll your hair, and it sets your hair in minutes. So I will be right back. All right, peeps, I'm back. So as you can see, I used almost the entire bag of rollers because I got a big head. <laughs> but yeah, it took me about maybe 10, 15 minutes off camera. Um, I was also sipping some tea and watching YouTube videos. So I generally can do this in about like 10 minutes, set my entire head. And in the time that it takes me to apply my makeup, which won't be much because like I said, my skin is feeling a little sensitive. <laughs> so I'm going to pamper that a little bit. Um, <clears throat> let it breathe. But yeah, by the time I finish my minimal makeup routine, the hair should be set. So like I said, today I'm just going to let my skin breathe a bit. I'm not going to even put concealer on this little pimple. I'm just going to let that guy hang this out. This is a perfect excuse for me to do another get ready with me video where maybe I get a little bit more glammed up. So this is really just going to be like the basics. Alrighty, so okie dokie peeps. So the first thing I'm going to do is go on with Glossier's Perfecting Skin Tint. This is a very, very sheer coverage. It's like a tinted moisturizer basically. And I use the color G4. And so I'm just gonna apply it. If you use something with a dropper, I try to be careful and not let it actually touch my skin because you don't want it to get like contaminated. This looks so like, <laughs> so weird. All right. <clears throat> yeah, because you don't want it to like any um, bacteria or oils and things on your skin. You don't want that to go into the whole bottle of makeup or skincare product that you're using. So yeah. And I'm just gonna apply that with my fingertips and smooth it on. I don't, like I said, this is a very sheer light coverage. So I don't know if you can even tell a difference. I can see a little bit of difference, yeah. Definitely woke me up a little bit. My skin is kind of like red. So I feel like it definitely took some of that redness away. So yeah, I think, <clears throat> I think that's good. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Number four. So I think that's like a really deep brown, almost black color. And just so you guys know, my eyebrows, I've mentioned this before, will never be on fleek. So, you know, <laughs> if you want a brow tutorial, I'm not your girl. I'm just gonna show you like my basic, like some days I don't even do this usually, but I like the spoolie in. I just take that and brush the brows upward. And then I have not had my eyebrows threaded in like ages, so. They're kind of crazy right now, but I don't mind. All right, so basically there's like one, this little stray hair kind of bothers me. But you know what, I'm just gonna leave it. All right, so I just like to fill in the empty spots, especially along the tails of your brow. And that's pretty much all I like to do. I'm just going to clean that up a bit.
very sparingly with that pencil. And then next, I like Anastasia's uh, Tinted Brow Gel. This is like a dark brown color. I either use this or I'll use Glossier's Boy Brow. I feel like the Boy Brow, I'm going for like a minimal look, so I'm not gonna use the Boy Brow today. This is actually one of my favorites. <clears throat> It really, really holds these suckers down in place. I mentioned to you guys, like the ends of my eyebrows are kind of curly, <laughs> which is another reason why my brows will never be on fleek. Um, and this really gets them to stay in place. But today I'm kind of like doing a no makeup look. So I'm just gonna go with the Anastasia. And just brush those up to kind of tame them a bit. All right. <clears throat> kind of feeling a little bit because I have that stray scraggly hair over there. All right, and I think we're good to go. All right, so I'm trying to think, do I want to even wear blush today? I think we can do a little bit of blush. Give me a little bit of color. So I am just going to use this like Sephora, like three part blush contour set that I got a long time ago. I'm just going to use this little pink color right here just to add a little bit of color to my cheeks. wake me up just a little bit okay all right and that's that and then <clears throat> for my eyes I'm not gonna do an eyeliner today because I'm just trying to do like a really minimal look so what I'm gonna do I have this Smashbox uh, photo op eyeshadow trio in focal point I've had this for ages I'm just gonna go in with this pink color And just apply a little bit of eyeshadow. And then today I don't want to wear eyeliner. So what I like to do is I just take my brush and like dampen it a little bit, put a little bit of water on it. And then this very dark color here I put that and I use that as an eyeliner so and that's what I do on days when like I'm really doing my minimal makeup look Cause sometimes I feel like actual eyeliner is like a little bit too much, a little bit too dramatic. This is like just enough. And then I'll go in again with some more of the pink. And that's that. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of this light color in the inside of my eyes. So like I said, I'm getting over a cold and I don't want to get like, I don't know, I just don't want to mess with anything. Tear ducts, leave it alone. <laughs> All right, so next is, oh, lip care. I didn't show you guys, I did this off camera as well, but I will show you. I use this lip scrub. Sometimes I do it at night, sometimes I do it in the morning, but it's just a vanilla lip scrub. Um, I don't even know what brand this is. I don't know. I'll try to look it up online and I'll link it down below. Or um, another lip scrub, but it's vanilla. It's just sugar, so you just rub it onto your lips. My, my lips get super dry in the winter, so that is a product that I like to use. So I did that. And then I'm just gonna use a little bit of Burt's Bees. <clears throat> lip balm and Oh, let's see. So for today, I think I want to do a red lip. I think that will kind of add a little something. Since everything else is so plain, like I just put on some skin tint, a little bit of mascara and eyeshadow. So I think a red lip will bring all this together. I'm using my current favorite red lip, which is NARS Star Woman. It's a liquid matte. Let's just apply it like so. So now 
I will just take my rollers out. Like I said, these Caruso rollers dry super quick. So I will take one out. Just so you can see. These just give you like a fluffy curl. Like my hair hasn't been uh, blow dried or anything like that. So, you know, I have very coarse, kinky hair. But you can see like I got a little bouncy curl. A little springy action here. So I'm going to take all of these out and I will be right back. All right, peeps, I am back. So I've taken all the rollers out and basically I'm going to wear my hair in like a kind of a curly, fluffy puff type thing today. I don't know what's going on with my hands here. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. So the Caruso rollers have nicely stretched my hair and I'm just going to take my bone comb. <laughs> coax my hair up into a ponytail-ish like formation <laughs> and yeah if I took the rollers out and like the steam got to it my hair feels pretty um soft and moisturized for me not to have really put any products in it since I washed it <clears throat> so I'm quite pleased with that I said I'm trying to be gentle with my hair and just give it some TLC for the winter all right and then every black girl has a tub of eco styler gel <laughs> this is the olive oil styling gel and i've had this <laughs> tub for like over a year so this lasts a really long time i'm just gonna wet my hands a little bit all right so i wet my hands a little bit and put that here and then I'm just gonna take a big glob of Eco Styler and put that around my edges and the front, about the same amount in the back. Okay, okay. And then I dropped my boar bristle brush <laughs> in the toilet. <laughs> And I live in a predominantly Hispanic neighborhood. And apparently they don't really use more bristle brushes or at least the hair supply store that I went to didn't have a good one. Um, and then Midtown Manhattan, I couldn't find one. So finally I broke down and bought this one on Amazon. You know, it gets the job done, nothing fancy. All right. And then next, I like to take a goodie ouchless um, headband. And I just snip it at the seam. This is what I use to do my puffs. So I just take that <clears throat> around the back, wrap it around here, and then adjust it to my desired tension or tightness. I don't want to do it too tight because like I said, I'm trying to be gentle and I'm getting older, so I'm trying to like preserve the edges that I got. <laughs> it's another reason why I'm like hesitant to even like dye my hair. I've never full on dyed my hair, but sometimes I do use just like a little bit of a, uh, what's that, just for men <laughs> around my edges. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. Um, but yeah, I'll do that. And then I will like to take, I like to take this and secure it with some bobby pins. Let's take one and put it here. Where are all my freaking bobby pins? Oh my gosh, where are my bobby pins? We're gonna put another one here and then another one in the back for good luck. <laughs> All right, and then that's my curly puff. And then what I like to do, I mentioned that little leftover piece of stocking. Just highlight my edges down. Um, are we feeling fancy today? Be a little fancy i bought one of those brushes like specifically for your edges to give you like a little swoop and all that i used it once i liked it and then i lost it so i don't know where that went so i guess it's just not <laughs> in the cards for me for 2020 to have my edges laid down um <laughs> that's fine that's like i don't usually do that anyway so i'll just do a little bit of that my hair dries super fast, so this is even like drying already. So I'll add a little bit more gel. There we go. I don't want to draw too much attention to my gray hair, so I'm gonna go overboard with the baby hair. <laughs> All right, and I just take this and 
gently lay it down like so. And like that. So this dries really quickly. So by the time I like pick out my outfit for the day and get ready to head out, <clears throat> this should be dry and set. Okay. <clears throat> and then I will go in with my fist, my Afro pick. <laughs> And kind of give this ponytail a little bit more life. Alright, so let me go pick out an outfit, pick out some earrings, and I will be back. Hey peeps, I'm back. So Christian woke up and I got a little sidetrack, had to make him breakfast and get him dressed and whatnot, but I managed to finish getting ready. So I used one of my mom hacks, <laughs> fashion hacks that I shared in a recent video of wearing all black um, when you're pressed for time. So <laughs> this is one of my favorite black dresses that I got from uh, Zara, yeah, Zara. So it's like a Moo Moo style, asymmetrical, longer in the back, and it has pockets. <laughs> and I jazzed it up with some red accessories. So of course, a red lipstick, um, this red cross baddie bag that I got from J. Crew. And then I haven't worn these sneakers in a while. So these are my Burberry sneakers that I have had for years. And I added these fun red laces. They're a little bit too long, so that's why I have them kind of lace like ballerina style <laughs> but when I first got these sneakers I wore them to death like every vacation I would take them on and yeah I just wore them into the ground <laughs> but they've still held up pretty well and uh, like I said the red laces I think just adds a little bit of extra something so oh and let's see I want to show you guys my earrings I think I've I've worn these before but I think these are so cute I love wearing them when I wear red lipstick I usually wear it with a striped top but I thought it kind of added a little extra zhuzh to the day's outfit and then I'm wearing my red swatch watch that I got on our trip to Switzerland um, Eric and I went to Switzerland when we first got married and <laughs> it was the third stop the last stop on our European tour we went to Paris and London first and by the time we got to Geneva we were like so broke we were eating at like Burger King um, and I always regretted that I never got a watch <laughs> on that trip as a souvenir so when we went back in 2018 I made sure when we went to Zurich that I had enough money to get me a swatch watch <laughs> so you know you live and you learn but that was my get ready with me I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I kept it pretty simple today. Um, this was pretty true to life. <laughs> um, I know some YouTubers do their get ready and they have like 30 million steps. Um, but yeah, I didn't, I wasn't able to do that today. Um, but next time I'll maybe do like a soft glam sort of get ready with me hopefully as <laughs> always thank you guys for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and until next time stay classy and stay fabulous